Hello, my name is Stefano Corazza, I'm the CTO and co-founder of Mixamo. Uh, today I'm going to guide you through how game developers can use Mixamo to effectively and really quickly get 3D character animation in their game. So uh, we can show you first uh, one of our motion models. Those are animations that are customizable by the user. The user can, for example, change this walking cycle into a happy uh, one. And we can change, for example, the speed and the stride of this walking cycle, make it a little bit slower, and then make a much longer stride. Let's try to put the uh, stride to a higher value. And so you can see how, by tweaking these high-level controls, the animations is updated, and we generate on the fly a, di a very different motion that is automatically retargeted to the character that the user generated. This character in particular was created uh, with our um, character creator suite. It's available on, on the Mixamo site. And uh, we can also show the skeleton, uh, just to give an idea that we are able to retarget um, all, all our animations to basically any rig, as long as um, he has at least 15 skeletons. Uh, we also support quadruped motions, so we can show you right now some of our horse motions. We work, uh, we both have a motion capture studio in-house and also a lot of key, uh, keyframe animators, so very good artists that can help us create these beautiful uh, motion models. This one is, for example, is for a horse backing, which is a very challenging motion. And this is all content that is basically game ready, it's already looped and clean and ready to go. Uh, and I can show you now, uh, to conclude, also some dancing motion maybe. And one thing that I want to mention, which is very important, we really plug in very well into um, the Autodesk products, in particular to DS Max and Maya, because we are able, uh, with our workflow, to bake all our animations into the Maya and to DS Max control rig. So for example, if you're using Biped, you can upload to Mixamo, we can bake all those motions to your uh, character, you can import back that FBX, into 3ds Max and still be able to use all the IK controls to edit that motion, to add a layer and to make it really, really suitable for your game. So basically we do the groundwork, we get you maybe 80-90% there and you can do the final tweaks in a non-destructive way. The last motion that we're going to show you is the dance motion. We have a, a, a large um, collection of, uh, of dancing. We can show you on the default character. We provide our users a set of default characters and also uh, third-party characters and also they can of course upload their own character or create um, uh, characters using our character creation suite. So this is concluding our quick overview um, and I really hope uh, you found that very interesting and uh, let's get in touch if you need any help from character animation pipeline perspective. Thank you very much.